Alright, so I'm booting up the Alesis DM10 here, and <clears throat> if you read through the manual, you can you probably have a, a decent understanding of this. Um, I was new to electronic drums. I've I've never owned any until about three weeks ago. But there there's uh, something called crosstalk, and what crosstalk does is it allows you to hit multiple instru instruments at once, and you have to mess with the crosstalk settings um, to get that right feel. If you don't have the crosstalk settings correct, then you will you will find you know maybe when you're hitting your snare you also hear uh, tom one or tom two, or maybe when you're hitting tom one head you hear tom one uh, rim. <clears throat> So there's a way you can fix that. So the way you change the settings, you're going to hit the EXT trig, and then you're going to, let's see, go over to trig, and then there's XTalk, which is crosstalk. There's receive, and there's send. Now, I'm by no means an expert, um, but what I've found is if the setting is, it goes from zero to seven. So if you're at zero, you can go all the way up to seven. Seven will will do no crosstalk whatsoever. The higher the number, the less the crosstalk, which is essentially what you want. However, if you put everything on seven, you'll often find that you might be hitting three drums at once or three triggers at once, and one of them won't sound. So you might hit your your bass, your you know your hi hat, and your snare at the same time, and you you won't you might you only get two of them instead of three. So you don't necessarily want everything maxed to seven because that's how I initially started it. <clears throat> so I don't recommend that. Um, unfortunately, there it doesn't seem to be like there's any like uh, one size fits all fix. It seems to be that I try to keep everything up about six or seven, and then if if I'm playing and I hear you know a trigger not triggering, I'll go in and I'll change the received down. Um, the send and receive essentially do the same thing. However, it's uh, there's uh, send will you know if you're hitting the snare. Let's see, let me turn on note chase. So if you're hitting the snare and you're 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 seeing that something else is vibrating, and you can even you can even test that. So if you click exit, you can see your triggers there at the bottom. You can see I'm hitting that that second from the left, the head is triggering, not the rim. Now the rim should be triggering. Um, so if you if you're hitting your snare and you see that the toms are triggering as well you want to turn the send down or you may want to go into the tom okay so i'm going to hit i'm hitting my my uh, tom one head here you might want to go into the tom and change the receive down on the tom that's also triggering so we'll hit f2 and you can see that the receive is down a little bit um more than likely i i put that down because you know i was trying to play something and i was not getting my tom sound at the same time as you know I was hitting two or three other uh, triggers. Um, also, you can see the zone crosstalk. Um, now, what that is is specifically the okay. So there's the tom head, and let's see where the zone. Okay, so the zone crosstalk. So that's that's specifically with the the rim of the trigger and the head of the trigger. So when you go to your head, there's a, uh, I'm sorry, when you go to your rim, there's a zone talk. Uh, most of the time you can leave that at seven. I mean, unless you plan on hitting, you know, if you plan on, I, I gotta hold the camera here with one hand, but if you're, if you're hitting, you know, you got both sticks in your hand, you're hitting the head and, you know, the rim, if you want both of those shots at the same time, both of those hits, then you would have to change the zone talk down. You more than likely wanna keep the zone talk high though, because when you hit the head, there's a decent chance, you know, if you keep it low. So if you turn, if you turn the, uh, let's see, if you turn the, 
we gotta go back to Tom Rim. Okay, so if you turn that down to zero, which is means like it happens a lot. It there's basically no um, like there's there's no stopping the crosstalk. Um, and then we exit this. So if I hit the head, which I'm doing right now. Um, I'm actually not getting any rim sound, which is great. Um, now, if I hit the rim, um, I'm getting a little bit of the head because you can see the inner circle is the head, the outer circle is the rim. So that's the zone crosstalk. So if you hit the rim and you hear the head sound as well, you want to turn you want to turn the the, the zone crosstalk up. Uh, it's kind of confusing. I feel like it should have been the other way around where you turn it down. Um, but it's not. So seven is the maximum, and I want to keep that up because when I hit the rim, I don't want to hear the head sound as well. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll check them out.